Hey you guys, welcome to my first video. In this video, I will talk about the difference there is between acrylic and oil. So what is really the difference? So acrylic itself and oil, they're both paint, they're both made with pigments, but acrylic is very soluble, so it evaporates. And oil, on the other hand, it's a chemical that's mixed with oil and also pigments that allows it to dry over time. The main difference that I can tell you is the drying time. So for acrylic, it dries very fast, and I'm talking about minutes. So the moment that you start creating your palette, it happens to me all the time when I'm creating my palettes and I'm putting my colors down. By the time I'm starting to mix, it starts to harden. Versus oil, it takes days. So it can be an advantage for some people and a disadvantage and you are gonna make that decision. So for instance, acrylic, you can sit down and paint and get it done with, and it dries that same day or within 24 hour, depending on the paint thickness. Versus oil, it takes a very long time. For me, in instance, I'm a portrait artist. I like to paint skin tones and I like to go back and make different changes. So when I'm looking at a final product, I can always make different changes with oil because it allows me to go back and still work and blend certain things that I need to. Versus acrylic, if I were to make, like if I were to paint a house and I need some hard edges, acrylic is gonna be more beneficial to me because it can construct these hard lines where I can build on and still keep on going. Another advantage of acrylic is that it's cheap. You can basically find it almost anywhere. And the price compared to oil, it's very different. So for a little bottle of um, acrylic, about two ounces, a little tube, it will run you around three to probably $6 on a higher end versus oil will start at a minimum of $10 and goes very, very expensive. Another advantage of acrylic is that it's very doable. So unlike oil, over time, acrylic does not change in color. So it doesn't give you that yellow tint that you would see on these older paintings that were made by Leonardo da Vinci or something like that. It doesn't give you that yellow tint. So acrylic is very, very doable. Keep in mind that once you're painting with acrylic, the moment that it dries, it gives it that darker look. What it is, is the fact that the water inside of the acrylic or the liquid has evaporated so it becomes a little bit more drier. And how to fix that, it's simple. You can use a varnish at the end of the painting that helps it bring that color back, that brilliant color when you were once painting on the canvas or the material that you were using on. Let's talk about toxicity. For oil, it's very toxic, but not toxic to the touch, but toxic if you were to inhale the fumes. So it's best if you can use it on a well-ventilated area, meaning that outdoor, or if you have a room that you're painting, like your studio, you can open the windows or put some fans around where it doesn't accumulate that fume. For acrylic, it is mostly non-toxic. So it's safe to have pets or kids around where it's not gonna give you any headache or anything like that. As long as you don't inhale or intake the actual paint, you should be fine. Now let's talk about how I actually use them and which one I prefer. And maybe that can answer your question. So for me, I know the advantage of oil, which is the slow drying time, which allows me to make changes over time, which allows me to blend colors exactly how I would want them to be blended. So I use it after. I always start with acrylic and I use them both. And I said that, yes, I use them both. Every time I'm making a portrait, I use acrylic, then oil. And keep in mind, because acrylic is water soluble, you can put it on a canvas first and you put the oil. But if you try to do the reverse, the acrylic will not bond because it's not gonna be able to bond with the oil on the oil paint. 
So what I do is I start with acrylic and I would do the foundation. I would block in a lot of the areas that I want to block in. Okay, so skin tone, I will make a big area where I would block in the area that I want. And then with oil, I will go in and start adding oil to define different lights and forms and take my time to bring that realistic value and it works great for me. So I created this video to take care of that fear. And I know that some of you do prefer acrylic and some of you do prefer Oreo, but the mixture of both of them has been such a blessing to me because when I realized that I could use both, it was two worlds that, that I needed to just combine because now my paintings are beyond what I really thought could be possible. I'm able to use everything that's good with the acrylic and everything that's good with the oil and I bring them together and it's amazing. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe to this channel because I will have some more videos like this coming your way. Again, this is Anthony with Valco Arts and I'll see you on the next one.